is Julia and welcome back to my channel and for today's video I'm going to be sharing with you guys my October TBR. So basically, um, I've been thinking a lot about my October TBR because it is the spooky month, which I know everyone is reading all spooky books, which I was going to do and I did that last year, but there is some other books I want to get to, so I don't want to like make myself wait to read those books because like I want to read them now. So that's what I'm going to do. So it's quite a mix and this is super ambitious as well, which it really shouldn't be because I don't think, I don't know how much reading I'm going to get done. This book I have here is The Godfather by Mario Puzo. This is um, a buddy read with my friend Rachel. Our buddy read didn't end up happening in September, so we're pushing it over to October. So hopefully I can get this done. Um, all I know really is it's a mafia type of story. And I'm really excited to see what it's about because I have no idea what to expect. Next up here I have The Child Finder by Renee Denfeld. This I'm so excited about. I don't know much about the actual premise of this book but her other book um the enchanted i love and i've been waiting for her to come out with like a new book and she hasn't in like years so she finally dropped a new book and just came out of nowhere and i was like well at least i wasn't aware of it like i'm sure it just didn't like i'm sure it was announced but i didn't hear about it <laughs> it says this is something i know no matter how far you have run no matter how long you have been lost it's never too late to be found then we have a super exciting one that I'm so thrilled about and I'm surprised I haven't read it yet but that is Without Merit by Colleen Hoover which comes out on I think the 3rd of October. Without Merit comes out I think on the 3rd of October and it's Colleen Hoover's new book and I'm so excited. Again, don't know what it's about but I like going into her books that way and the lady at the bookstore when I was buying it was saying that it's dark just like it ends with us so I'm excited to see that and she said something about depression and anxiety representation which I'm looking forward to seeing how she tackles that and yeah I'm so excited about this like I know not everyone loves Colleen Hoover's books but I've enjoyed most of the books I've read by her and I find her writing really addictive and her story is really addictive so I can't wait to read this one. Next up here I have Helter Skelter, which this is a true crime novel. This is about the true story of the Manson murders and it is, it doesn't look big, but it is like really something. <laughs> it's like 600 pages, basically Peter from Peter Likes Books is doing like a read along this month and you're supposed to, you can read like 21 pages a day and finish it in the 31 days. I have, it's day two already and I haven't read any, so I don't know if I'm going to follow that exactly, but I'm super excited to be reading this month, this, this month regardless, or at least start it. Um, I've always, I haven't actually read much true crime and the Manson family and the Manson murders has always been something I've been interested in, but never have really researched a ton. So I'm excited. Next up here, I have Ramona Blue by Julie Murphy. I'm so happy and excited about this one. I'm currently reading it. I'm about over 50% through and I'm really liking it so far. Um, it's a YA contemporary book and the main character identifies as a lesbian, but through other circumstances and she has a lot going on in her life. Her sister is pregnant. Um, they live in a trailer and um, she lives in a small town and things like that and her girlfriend just really just moves back after a summer vacation so there's a lot of things happening for her and she meets this guy that she kind of has some interest in and she's wondering if she i maybe labeled herself too soon and stuff like that and i can't speak on behalf of that representation because i don't identify as a lesbian or with a bisexual rep but this author is own voices for bisexual rep so that's really cool and I'm honestly just really enjoying this so far and the characters. So if you want a review, let me know because I would love to make one. <laughs> and even if you don't want one, I might make it regardless unless it goes downhill. But for, for like right now, it's so good. Like I'm happy about it. <laughs> Here I have The Dreadful Tale of Prosper Redding by Alexandra Bracken. This is a middle grade novel actually and it's like a horror middle grade. So I believe it's about um, this kid, I think, who... Um, his father or his friend or something makes a deal 
with a demon so this little kid has like a demon inside him and I've heard good things about it all I know is it's spooky it has those vibes I love the cover um, the end pages are also very cool so I think this is perfect for this time of year and this month so I'm super excited to read this and it's middle grade so like the font is pretty big so I think I could manage to read this <laughs> up here I have slasher girls and monster boys by edited by April Genevieve Tucholke and this is a powerhouse anthology featuring some of the best thriller and horror writers around uh, it's a YA horror anthology I'm super excited about it I've heard wonderful things and I think it's gonna be really good and I hope it's really good and I'll let you guys know about my thoughts on this one I don't know if I should read like a story every day or a story every bit or I don't know if I'm gonna just gonna read this in one sitting like who knows but I hope to read this one this month something I've been getting asked about a lot is of course Sleeping Beauties by Stephen King and Owen King um, this just came out at the end of September and it was a very anticipated release for me and many people as well and I do want to get to it I just don't I want to read it at the right time like I don't want to read it when I want to read something else or when I want to do this like I want to read it at a time when I want to just settle down just read this love it devour it um, I don't want to just make myself read it so I can get a review up or so I can do this or I just want to read it for myself enjoy it um hopefully enjoy it and I want to like take my time so I hope to read this this one this month but if I'm not feeling it then I won't but I do want to read it this month so I really hope to all I know about this one is about prison and death row is all that I've heard and I don't want to know anything else I want to go into it kind of blind so yes so that was my October TBR let me know what you are planning on reading in the comment section down below and if you are new here be sure to click the subscribe button and click the notification bell to be updated for when I post new videos and all that sort of stuff and I'll see you all very soon with a new video bye it's like